Hey guys, welcome to Circus Circus. This is one of the resorts here down in the strip here, Las Vegas. Opened 1968 and it's home to the largest permanent circus in the world. We're checking out the Adventure Dome today. Lily's going to be doing some rides. They also have a Midway with Carnival Games and Circus Acts. So it's going to be a fun filled adventure. And I do have some memories from this place as well when I was here back as a little kid. But now I'm going to relive it all over again as an adult. <coughs> Not sure what I'm going to be doing as far as rides, but definitely we'll be playing some games and having a good time. So I invite you to come along with myself, Jill and Lily, as we check out Circus Circus. <laughs> Well, since this is Circus Circus, of course they have to have a little kitty ride featuring a clown. The last time I was here was back in the 90s, and although it does seem familiar, it is a lot different. Obviously the rides have changed, and um, it's a whole different setup. Torture device, that's not a ride. Well, there's looking up at the center of the dome, and over here we do have a midway area with some carnival games. Not all of them are open, but there are a few. Got the barrel toss. Find yourself a big fuzzy monkey. There's also a water gun shooting over here. To win a uh, Whatever the heck those things are. Yeah, it's this. Oh, this is a neat one. This is like rollerball. So going for the gold. And they're little hand pump cars. So you roll the ball, get the number, and you see who will win. Let's see if we'll watch the next round here. That one's not even having any wheels on it. Oh, well, number two gonna win? Let's see, eight's coming up. Eight, 12. Five and eight are closing in on two. 13's pulling ahead. Oh, a little bit more to go. Oh, it's anyone's race right now. Number two won, not by much. There goes the other coaster up there on the top. I know Lily's in line for one of them right now. We do have a pirate ship here that's not operating, so it's not fully open, not fully operational, but a good portion of it is. Oh, fishing game here. Looks like bears are the prize here. Make our way over. Some more games here. Tequila Sunrise, which is a milk jog, milk bottle toss. You gotta knock down the milk bottles, which is tricky because they're weighted down you gotta get something in the the, the buoy game gotta land a ping pong ball in there they do have uh, bumper cars not the kind you see at Knobles but they do have a nice little track here it's like they're pretty speedy too even a disco ball in the middle there maybe they get some party sessions here. There's a good overall view too from a distance. It is pretty big in here, pretty massive. Very loud as you can tell. But that's what you come to expect when a amusement park is indoors. Everything's kind of amplified. Bust. There is the uh, milk jug toss. And here we are back at the racers. Let's see who's going to win here. See the old gold miners on the hand pump cars. 
upper level view here, we'll be able to watch the coaster come whipping by. But on the wall, kind of a menacing looking clown saying there's a new clown in town. Look at these little crazy eyed there. Now, I do know certain individuals do not like clowns. If you don't, you probably wouldn't want to stay here because there are clowns, I believe, in the Midway area, in the circus acts, and clown theming, but it makes it for a very unique casino compared to the other ones. It definitely stands apart from the rest. Hope they realize what doom is just ahead of them. This does not look good. The crazy thing is when this comes by too, the whole ground shakes. Here they come. Wow. No, thank you. I do believe they have a, a water ride here from what I remember, unless it was taken out, but they did have a type of a log flume or something that created a big splasher wave. So we're going to keep our eyes out for that. It may be something that was taken out of some time ago, but it'd be cool to see it here still. Gotta keep an eye on the yellow coaster. It's going to come right by us here. This one goes completely 90 degrees upside down. I wouldn't be able to handle it in the slightest. Look at the twist too. It's just insane. Where's it at? Oh, here it comes. Oh, heck no. Here we got a great view of the pink one again, coming towards us loop after loop, making its way around, hovering over the people. Not hovering, but zooming by. Let's wait for it. on the next one. Let's see if you guys can spot her. There she goes. Alright guys, now it's time to vote. You gotta decide which ride you think is the worst of the two. We have inverter right here and disc O. As long as you be riding that, I've seen this one before, I'll let you be the judge as to which one is the worst of the two because I wouldn't do either of them for probably any amount of money. So let's wait for the sickening to begin. That's what it's going to be. I don't see how anyone can enjoy that. That's like something you would do to punish your kids, put them on that ride. Oh my god. I'd be yelling already. Get me off! Get me off the ride! Oh my goodness. And it hangs there. That's the worst of it. Okay, inverter looks terrible. <laughs> to me at least. So we're gonna see uh, Disco next, and maybe Lily could share some thoughts when she gets off of it because I give her credit for riding it. Oh, somebody just dropped something. All my change will be falling out of my pockets. All right, let's wait for this to start. We'll see which one's better or worse. Best of the worst. Oh my goodness. That is spinning way too fast. How is that fun? And she's waving! Okay, uh, we'll wait for it to end and we'll see what she thinks when she gets off. Here she comes one more time. Wow. So now that we saw both of them, comment down below, tell us which one you think is the worst of the two. And Lily is getting off, we're gonna see what she thinks of Disco. 
So what did you think of that? It was crazy, but I liked it. Did you get dizzy? Did you get sick? Was it scary? Yeah. Yeah. Better you than me. <laughs> There's a slingshot which shoots you up really quick and lets you hang there and then drops you back down. That's not nearly as bad as stratospheric nobles. These rides here are a little bit more of my speed. Ferris wheel and carousel. It's nice here too, they have the rope lighting. Gives a nice little carnival vibe to it. And up there, big mountain landscape. Like I said, there used to be a log flume here. Now Lily said when she was riding the coaster, she did see parts of it, which actually I'm looking now. Yeah, there might be some remnants of it up there, but it's not operational. So it's either closed or they're deconstructing it, but I think that right there between those pillars is part of the log flume ride. So unfortunately that is not something we could check out today. That'd probably be the only one I would ride. We're officially under the big top, which is the midway area slash circus axe area. So I gotta see what, the, what we can check out here. We do have a schedule here. It looks like we're next show is Rolla Bola by Free Ladder Man. And then later on tonight is Unicycle, Foot Juggling. So they do have a schedule of different acts, different times, different days. There is a look at the trapeze act up there. Pretty that they had this right in the middle here. I don't remember seeing this in the past. I'm not sure when they started implementing this, but up top here though, this is a, basically like a massive arcade slash carnival themed area with a lot of games like both arcade games and carnival type games got to get the chicken in the pot it looks like some of them are not open unfortunately some of the games here is star darts touchdown super bowl which you got to throw something at the floating beach ball and then this human cannonball which is a, a water water shooting game but you do have to get a card to put credits on and swipe it. You can't just pay cash. So you do have to get a card to play the carnival games. But there is more of them around, so let's keep checking it out. Similar to what we saw earlier, this is Circus Downs, where you got the horse racing here. And just across from that is the goblet ball game. You gotta toss the balls and try to get them in the colored cups and make your way around. The Midway gift shop here. Looks like a little toys and souvenirs, collectibles. And here's what we saw earlier cannery, which is like the milk jug toss. Roll down the big ring. Got to ring the soda bottle. This is more like um, you have to get it under or over a certain number there. That's nearly impossible. That's just. Uh, I think I saw somebody do that once. What well, looks like a carousel here is a nice seating area. You have, what's this, Uniball, which is like the milk jug, milk bottle toss. Knock them down with bean bags. And similar game with some dice here, Blockbuster. And the old school carnival game, which was synonymous with carnivals and fairs was the clowns you have to shoot at the water in their mouth blows up the balloon balloon pops you win pretty neat to see that basket toss which is bushel basket uh, superstar basketball then we get our way around more arcade games it's even a mcdonald's here too here's the prize area get your redemption area Tic-tac-toe with aliens. That's my kind of game right there. I could use that for another spook video. Now this is balloon bust. Gotta throw the objects, bust the balloon. Here's a full arcade here. A lot of crazy and state-of-the-art state games. Circus theater. There's knockdown. Virtual bowling game. 
really bright and colorful. Lily's actually pretty good at this. She played it at uh, the New York, New York Arcade yesterday. Won a bunch of tickets on it. Mini basketball. Over here, instead of horses, they have camels. <laughs> Just happy to be here in Vegas. Camel, camel chase. You gotta race the guys on the camels. No one's wanting to play though. Another blockbuster game, knock your block off. And we're back to where we started with star darts. So that was the whole circumference of the Midway Carnival games. I think we're gonna grab a seat and watch these circus acts. Well, we got our seats here. Man, we're waiting for the show to start. Switch to my Panasonic camera so we can get a little closer look at the action. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Circus Circus is proud to present one of a kind, uniquely talented, amazing Uzir, the Free Letter Man. look at Circus Circus here on the strip down here in downtown Las Vegas. I have a few thoughts I want to share. Now, being here for the first time back in the 90s, I remember it as a really wonderful, magical place. You know, a lot of fun. It was really family friendly, inviting, a lot of things to do for kids. And it's still partially true to that, but it is now kind of transformed in a way, in a way that I really don't care for as much. The um, Adventure Dome, I'm glad it's still there, but it's much different than what I remember. It was more of like a family amusement park. Now it's all throw rides and things that I don't really care for, but really got to do a few rides. But I will say for the wristband admission price of $40, I personally don't think it's worth it. If you're someone that likes those type of rides, then you may want to consider that as an option to get a wristband. Otherwise you can just do a few tickets. With that said though, um, $40 is also the price at Knobles where you get a lot more for your money. But this is a great hotel though, I do think for families with kids because there's a lot to do with the Adventure Dome. 
And my favorite area was the Midway and the Circus Act. Now the Midway, I didn't play any games because you have to get a card and put credits on it in order to play. I didn't want to go through the hassle of that. So we didn't play any games, but they have a great variety. They have an arcade, there's a McDonald's. But the free Circus Acts that run throughout the day, each and every day, is a fantastic you know, draw for people. You know, we came here, saw a free Circus Act. The guy was talented, it was fun. And we're leaving here, you know, knowing that we got to see something that has been going on for a long time. And knowing that this has been here since the 60s and has the largest, longest, permanent circus platform is, you know, pretty remarkable. So Circus Circus, definitely consider checking out if you're down here. Otherwise, I want to thank you for watching and thanks for these guys for suffering through it as well. We all had fun. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.